You know, you know, in this industry, we always look at competition. Well, you guys have way exceeded what the competition and have become a leader and revolutionized what I consider the whitetail industry on how we hunt. You know, I live in the Midwest, and I have to say your biggest competition there is not businesses, it's a little thing called an acorn. And that's Mother Nature's, that, that's their golden cash crop. So for us, we have to compete against Mother Nature. And, you know, from you and what we've learned is, to me, is build a candy store. We not only want to keep the deer on our property, we want to get the deer off everybody else's property. And there's something you have done in the last 25 years to figure out why is your product so much better than everybody else's. And not only that, why is it good in Illinois, Alabama, and even out west? Food plots as a rule, from a year-round standpoint, it's going to be one of the number one places where deer spend their time. And on those years where are places where you don't have as many acorns, uh, or places when the acorns dry up, you know, food plots are where they're going to be. You know, Steve, like all deer, not all deer are created equal, not all are going to grow up to be Boone and Crockett deer, as we all know that. But, you know, I've had guys ask me, well, why would I buy a Whitetail Institute product when I can go to a grain store and buy just a big box of, of clover? Is it, is, it not, is it like bucks? They're not all created equal? That's a, that's a good way of putting it. No, they're not all created equal. I mean, there's more, there's more type clovers than there are cars and the performance varies just as drastically. As far as what we've done, we feel like what we've done differently is one of the main criteria when we develop product is attraction to deer. And, it, and that's getting, going to be obvious. And that's what people find when they plant it, is uh, it's the most attractive thing they can plant, and that's the way it was developed. One thing that makes us different, we have developed seeds, scientifically, genetically developed seeds, crossbreeding seeds, to develop a variety that's never been before, specifically, for deer and wildlife food plots. Attractiveness is crucial, uh, nutritional content is crucial, uh, being able to be drought resistant is crucial, cold tolerance is crucial, uh, but it, those, uh, those, that process, you know, the first, the first seed we developed took seven years from the start when over a hundred seeds were brought in, different seeds from different parts of the world, put in and selections were made for seedling vigor, again, attractiveness to whitetail, um, uh, nu nutrition, and the list goes on and on. But we develop them from the ground up as opposed to going out and getting stuff that's readily available on the market and just mixing it into a bag, putting a picture of a deer on the bag and then selling it. We do it differently.